Hello everyone, I'm Casper Kuma and welcome back to Scarlet Hollow. Now we're going into episode 4, which I believe is the last episode that they have at the moment. Um, I think. <laughs> Would you like to see a recap? Yes. Uh, just of episode 3 though. Oh yeah, last time we made a lot of questionable decisions. <laughs> As you're ready to leave, Janie approaches from the far side of the kitchen. Tabitha remains between the two of you, impatiently tapping her foot. Oh, Casper, before you go, I heard about what was happened last night. I mean, I heard about it before Miss Tabitha mentioned it just now, and then I heard it again. I just want to say that I'm sorry you got caught up in all that. You two did right by those kids, though. What a blessing. Everyone got out of that situation all right. Oh yeah, the, the, we saved the kids from the mine in the last, last episode. <laughs> Morning. Is the new blend ready? Of course. Casper, if you'd like to keep Miles company, Tabitha and I will just be a minute. Um, excuse me. Wait, you're Casper, aren't you? My name's Bo. I'm Duke's boy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, the policeman told me that you saw what happened to my daddy. <laughs> Tabitha stops in front of... Oh, I thought I saw a ditchling. That's just a fountain. <laughs> that was the stops in front of the small house on the quiet hill just off Main Street. The Scarlets own most of the houses out there. We rent them out to employees. Just more convenient, you know? Your cousin pulls out a heavy set of keys from her pockets. She picks one out marked with a bright stripe of green tape and locks the door. Come on in. Don't worry, it's empty. Yep, he's a dog. The mayor! <laughs> And judging from the series of portraits lining the walls, Tabitha wasn't pulling your leg. Every mayor of Scar Scarlet Hollow in living memory has also been a dog. You can tell this dog is the mayor from his little sash and his fancy top hat. There's a regal air about him, almost as if he knows the position of authority he's been elected to. <laughs> Before you can catch up to your companions, you're intercepted by a nervous man with a cross around his neck. Sounds like old Gretchen and the mayor may have some unresolved issues, wouldn't you say? I'm Pastor Daniel. I take it you're Casper. Everyone's been buzzing about you. I'm so sorry about your aunt, but I'm sure she's in a better place now. If you'd ever like to discuss your beliefs, my door is always open. I don't trust that man. <laughs> the basement is what you might expect out of a tortured artist who spends all of his time confined to his studio. Discarded canvases line its edges, while trash and sketches leak out from their piles in the corners of the room, hiding the bare cement floor. Ghoulish faces coat the walls in paint, sneering out at, at, sneering out at their creator. Your mom is so scary. She can be a little intense, kind of overprotective, which I guess makes sense. Anyway, make yourselves comfortable. You'll have to forgive the mess. I've been distracted lately. I haven't been cleaning much. Dinner is already laid out. Dinner rolls, spaghetti, and a light salad. Kanika anxiously picks at her food, Stella is nervously talkative, and Reese is suddenly quiet and tense. His shoulders tight as his mother perches on the chair next to his. Dr. Kelly eyes all of you with a sharp, fierce gaze. So, we were talking about maybe watching a movie sometime this week, while Casper's still in town? We'll have to see how you're feeling. I can handle a movie, Doc. Yeah, we'll just sit downstairs in the dark. Reese is used to that. I'm sure you'll be okay. You're always overestimating how much you're able to do, Reese. This is why you keep getting sick. If I get sick, so what? It's not like ever that that's ever going to change. I'm sick every day, and I'm not getting better. I don't want to spend the last few miserable years of my life holed up in the basement alone just because seeing my friends has been deemed too strenuous. I'm an adult, for God's sake. Can't believe I have to ask for permission from my mom just to have friends o- Reese stops mid-sentence, wincing in pain and wrapping himself in his arms. Don't say things like that. I'm doing everything I can to try and fix- Silence as Dr. Kelly's eyes shoot open. Reese? Reese abruptly pulls himself from the table and leaves. Hey, you're here sooner than I expected. Hope dinner went okay. Oscar and Kanika startle as the door swings open. Seems I made it just in time. Let's get this show on the road. I don't have all night. Whoa. This is where I've seen it. It appears on top of the stain. 
Stella pulls back the carpet, revealing a hatch, the floor around it stained in reddish brown. I'm going for it. And thus begins all of the problems. <laughs> Wait, do you hear music? Movement stirs as a figure cloaked in shadow rises to attention. Stella? There you are. I would have found you sooner, but the Resonant clearly doesn't want me here. Doesn't seem to have the same issue with these miserable little parasites. Bottom feeders always manage to slip through the cracks, don't they? The sins of, our, of the father are to be laid upon the children. One of you must forfeit, doesn't matter which. Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> I hope I didn't come too late. It wants something, doesn't it? And I think I, I think you know which you of you should volunteer. You you must be joking. Let's just leave. Agreed. S uh, Sybil, you got in here. Can you get us out? Sybil sighs. Tabitha, are you sure you want to leave this business unfinished? Absolutely. This is not our problem. If you think it's in, it's the best course of action, yes, I can get you out. It's only a question of seeing through the illusion. We're in a basement. Even if all of your senses are telling you otherwise, try closing your eyes and remembering where you are. Sorry, I can't talk right now. See you later. She hurries off down the road. Before I go... Saibel places a hand on your arm, holding you back for a moment. I'm sure you have questions after everything you saw tonight, but let's not get into it here. I think everyone could use a little rest and relaxation right now, yourself included. If you swing by the tea room sometime tomorrow, say early afternoon, you and I can have a little chat. I'll see you then, Casper. You don't even notice yourself entering the guest room and falling into bed. Suddenly you're just there, buried under your family's musk covers. The spirit of Charles Shaw, Char Charles Shaw Jr. now commands the entirety of City Hall, a swirling void of wrath and despair that the people of this town will have to learn to ignore. Disaster looms its tallest yet over ha Scarlet Hollow. Wake up. Time to face the day. I mean, I don't know, I'm still- I, I don't think Tabitha should die because of what, like, our ancestors did, you know? That's just stupid. <laughs> So, I don't know. Maybe if we'll find a way to get rid of this ghost somehow. <laughs> Maybe there's a, a different party that's actually responsible for this. <laughs> you open your eyes. It's a new day. Last night seemed so far away. You can almost pretend the horrors you witnessed in the annex were nothing but a nightmare, chased away by the harsh morning light. But you know that the furious sp spirit of Charles Shaw Jr. Uh, yet lingers, locked behind the door- the <laughs> Locked behind the doors of the town hall, still tied to the earth by its hatred of you and Tabitha. An involuntary shudder runs down your spine. But your thoughts are interrupted by the buzz of your phone on the nightstand. Hope you made it home okay. Haven't heard from Stella since last night. How about you? You check your messages. Just nothing from Stella. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just- she probably won't answer. Let's just text her. <laughs> hey, you good? Um, yeah, you just got possessed last night. You okay? <laughs> hey, I'm kind of worried about uh, worried after you ran off last night. Text me as soon as you get the chance. That Wayne guy didn't come after you, did he? Kanika and I are pretty worried about you. Please respond. How's my favorite cryptid hunter? Hey, <laughs> send Stella a photo of a nervous puppet. Yeah, let's do that one. You send a photo of a shaking frog biting his nails. <laughs> you wait for uh, wait for a few silent minutes. Your message sits undelivered. Undelivered? What? You mean not read or you mean not undelivered? Because if it's undelivered, doesn't that mean there's mm, usually a problem with like my phone? Or would it be also a problem with their phone? I feel like when it doesn't like send, it doesn't. That's like a you end problem. I don't know. Or maybe her phone's just turned off? Or something? Hmm. Um... Maybe I should call her. You dial, Stella. Hey, what's up? Oh, you answered? <laughs> just kidding. I'm not able to come to the phone right now. Oh. 
This is actually a recording of my voice. It isn't really me. Technology, huh? Anyway, leave, uh, anyways, leave a message. Or don't. I never check this thing. <laughs> the mailbox is full and can't accept messages at this time. Hmm. Okay. Um, haven't heard from her either. That's not good. I think we should try looking for her. Let's meet up in town. Looks like you have your morning plans in order. Mm, what's in the closet? Check the closet. Ugh, that thing. You make your way to the closet. There's no denying it, the doll moved at some point since your most recent visit. That's not okay. <laughs> but your long dead relative's creepy doll isn't the only thing that's different. Someone was in here? Oh yeah, this like bloody handprint, right? You know, and judging by the residue that was left behind, you're pretty sure you know the culprit. That means he was in your room. <laughs> but he was he there while you were out the previous day, or did he enter while you slept unawares just a few feet away? <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Okay, cool. <laughs> Something to mull over for the rest of the day. Great, fantastic. Let's get out of Scarlet Hollow. <laughs> Let's take a shower and forget that happened. You might as well take a shower before starting the rest of your day. If we're gonna die, we're gonna die squeaky clean. You step into the guest bathroom and into the shower. It feels good to wash away the grime of last night's haunting, but eventually you'll have to leave this place and confront the rest of the day. In the meantime, you... Think about the door to the clinic. You're still drawn to it even even now. You're, you'll be going back there today, you're sure of it. Hmm. Think about Oscar and Rosalina and how the specter of Charles Shaw Jr. has left them without a home or work. Think about the afterlife. It's undeniably real at this point, and what you've seen is terrifying. Think about Stella running off last night. Hopefully she's just sleeping in. Think about Duke and the image of him laying there. No. Scrub feverishly trying to pretend that this didn't happen. <laughs> Think about Cybel's warning. The worst is yet to come. Think about Wayne and whether you're truly ever alone. That's a horrible thought to think about. Think about someone special. Think about finally being out of this hellhole and safe in your own bed. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, so let's not think about that just yet. Let's think about the door to the clinic. Because that was weird. You're still drawn to it even now. You'll be going back there today. You're sure of it. Oh, <laughs> that's it? <laughs> You're done here. Alright. You're done here. You turn off the faucet and dry yourself off. That we're going to think about it a bit more. Let's head downstairs, though. It's time to face your cousin. And that cat that hates us. You find her in the kitchen, her shoulders hunched in a tight ball of anxiety. And they're striking, this week of all weeks, as if I didn't have enough of my plate already. Kina, your cousin's posture is unsurprisingly much tenser than usual. It's possible the strike is even worse than what she thought it would be. Why are they striking? It probably won't be long before she bolts out of here. Mmm, talk about the strike. How are you feeling about the strike? You can be honest with me. Yeah, I mean, we bonded. I feel like we can ask it like that. Let's go with that. How are you feeling about the strike? You can be honest with me. It's going to get ugly. People are going to lose their jobs, and if I don't play things right, this town is going to be devastated by the fallout. I'm used to playing the part of a villain, if that's what people see me for- uh, If that's what people see me as for holding this place together, then so be it. Hmm. No, that's- so that's why the ditchlings here, they were predicting the strike, that doesn't make any sense. Usually I'm pro-union, but... Do you know what the strikers even want? That's a good question. I haven't seen a list of demands, I'm sure it's just the usual. I promise you that if any of them were in my shoes for a month, they'd be singing a different tune. Well, why don't you do that? Elect a- elect a leader for a month. <laughs> you know, you can switch them out, see what happens. <laughs> um... hmm... Just give them what they want, Tabitha. That's the right thing to do. Well, we don't know what they want. Let's not fire them all. I can't believe the gall of these people after everything you've done for this town. Well, let's not do that. <laughs> You're in a really t difficult spot right now. Well, that's obvious. With everything else going on, it's hard to care about something as mundane as a strike. Uh, let's not say that. That's kind of dismissive. You're in a really difficult spot right now. Yeah, I am. Hopefully it'll all be over soon. Well, you might not have to worry about it if that ghost kills you. Hmm. Hmm. What's this return? Have you heard anything? Uh, let's talk about what happened last night first. Um. Do you regret leaving Charlie down there? Not at all. I don't care if Grandma Eddie killed him. The past is the past. Neither of us had anything to do with it. 
We can always build a new town hall. We can never get back lost years. That's true. It's a ghost surreal. I still can't get over that. I can. <laughs> what does that actually change about anything? I still have a mind to run and you still have a funeral to attend. Okay. <laughs> Have you heard anything from Stella? I can't get a hold of her. No, but that's not exactly newsworthy. She's just, I'm sure she's just processing what happened last night. They weren't the only ones that w were traumatized. The mine's in trouble. You should just sell it. Sell the estate. Get out while you still can. Yeah, let's just say that. I mean, you could sell it, right? I don't know if anyone will buy it, but <laughs> it's Tabitha Bristles. I'm not giving up like that. This is a scarlet mine. I'm not just going to cash out on our family's legacy. I'm bringing the mine back to life one way or another. Okay, well, if you're going to be like that, then maybe we should have given you the Charles. I don't know. It sounds like there's a lot of bad things with this mine. <laughs> and you don't even really like it that much. I don't know. I don't know. My uh, family legacies can all burn in hell. <laughs> eh, whatever. Get rid of your pride. <laughs> uh, you should probably get going, right? Yeah. I've dawdled long enough. Stay safe. No more hijinks. Hmm. <laughs> well, let me know if you get in trouble, okay? See, she likes us. Tabitha slips past you, her heavy boots studding down the hall as she marches away to face her employees. Time to figure out the rest of your day. Hmm. Let's talk to Frofro. You walk over to the cat. Oh, sis, dear. I'm sorry, I don't know what that says. I missed you last night, Frofro. <laughs> that makes one of us. Will you ever let me pet you? <laughs> and coat my fur in your disgusting human oils? No. <laughs> um, do you know anything about the strange stone carvings scattered around the town? I am not here to be your... Comment Diton, Shein Detective, Jesus Unchat. I am here to watch you flail about in the darkness. <laughs> I am not here to provide answers to whatever mysteries confound your feeble American mind. Okay. <laughs> not respectfully, the fro fro. She scoffs, her tail switching with annoy uh, twitching with annoyance. You can sense that she's less annoyed than she usually is. Maybe she's getting used to you. <laughs> Uh, bye, Frovro. Good talk. She scoffs at you as you turn away. She's grown on me, or something. I don't know, probably. <laughs> Fuel up with a quick PB and J. If Stella's uh, MIA, who knows when you'll get a chance to eat? You make yourself a PB and J in anticipation for a long day ahead of you. And that's that. Head to town. It's time to head to town. You head to the front door and begin your trek to the town below. Oh god. Oh god, they're everywhere. They can show up in the daylight too? Ugh. The sun shines down through the thin layer of clouds, illuminating the path in a watery gray light. You know, glimpses of pale figures dot your periphery. You haven't seen ditchlings in the middle of the day before. They're getting bolder. Dear god, why do we live so far away? As you continue your trek to town, you pause to stare out at the mountain range beyond the holler, contemplating a world that's blissfully unaware of the danger threatening the citizens of this tiny town. The world outside feels less real with each passing day, as the strange reality of what's happening in Scarlet Hollow gently abrupts what you've always, uh, you'd always taken to be truths of our world. Your everyday worries seem distant, overshadowed by fear and dread that hasn't stopped building up since the moment you stepped off that bus. We should really take a car or something instead of walking everywhere dear god it isn't long until your journey from the state is over and you once again find yourself on the main street of scarlet hollow casper you made it down the hill in one piece thank god i didn't even realize there were so many of those ditchlings around or i would have driven up to get you can't believe they're outside during the day it feels wrong how are you doing terrible flirt oh my goodness much better now than with you oh my god um, I'm mostly just worried about Stella right now. I'll feel better when we find her. Bad. <laughs> Besides mostly, I can't wait to find out what horrors will witness day. I'm keeping it together, you? Not feeling much of anything. How about you? Doesn't matter how I feel. We got work to do. Say nothing. Uh, 
well, there's a man in my closet. Um, there's a ghost trying to kill my family. Uh, one of my friends is missing. And my cousin is having to deal with the strike. So I'd say bad. <laughs> I feel that. I'm also bad. Kind of feels like I got crushed by a steamroller or something. I figured it was from all that ghost possession stuff, but I wasn't feeling great yesterday either. So mom is convinced it's cold. She got me on a strict tea regimen now. Maybe she's on to something. I do feel a little more alive after drinking about a liter of that stuff. I'm at least well enough to go looking for Stella. Hmm. So how are you mentally? That's a great question. My concept of how this world works is being shattered a little more each day. So that's cool. <laughs> Every day I feel, I feel more and more like I need to get out of this town before it swallows me whole. But I also keep feeling like there are too many reasons to stay. Like right now, I can't leave until St I know Stella's okay. With her folks gone, the only people she has are her friends. And her, as her bestie, I can't just let her go running off into the woods to get eaten by a Bigfoot. And my mom is just so chill right now, it's driving me nuts. She's not giving me any answers about the shit she pulled last night. It's just weird. Anyway, thanks for asking. Ranting helped. I appreciate you pressing me on it. Cool. I'm supposed to see your mom at some point today. Maybe she'll finally shed some light on some things. Your mom was the one who told us about ditchlings. If she's being tight-lipped, it's probably for a good reason. Your mom is definitely a witch. Mom seems like a nice lady. You're being too hard on her. Let it go. Now let's just tell her that we're going to see her today. I'm supposed to see your mom at some point today. Maybe she'll finally shed some light on some things. I'm not sure what she's planning to tell you today that she couldn't have told us all last night. Maybe she's going to read your fortune. I should probably stop making fun of her whole new age mystic vibe. A lot's happened in the past couple of days. Still, there will be plenty of time for tea after we look for Stella. Hmm. Is the ghost still in the library? <laughs> uh, hmm. I am, I'm guessing the ghost is still there. Um. Someone manning Jones, I don't care about the general store. We can always just chill now. <laughs> Any leads on Stella? I haven't had the chance to talk to anyone else yet, so none. Uh, nope, none so far. She ran north last night, but that doesn't mean, mean she didn't double back. I'm trying not to worry too much. It's possible she's safe somewhere and just not answering her phone, but I also don't want to bet on that. Is the ghost still in the library? I have no idea. I don't think anyone should even try to look. Especially not you. Who knows what might happen if that thing so much as catches a whiff of scarlet blood. So ghosts, huh? Yeah, ghosts. I don't know about you, but I'm currently staving off a massive existential crisis about the state of the matter of what being alive means. Hmm. Any idea why Stella was so upset? Being possessed seemed awful, but she's the only one who ran off. Could be a lot of things. She could have hit her breaking point, stress-wise. She could have been horrified by meeting a ghost for the first time. She could have been tra traumatized by what that ghost did. Hmm. But at the end of the day, I have no idea. I just have to find her and see what she wants to stop. Or see if she wants to stop running from it and finally just talk things out. Hmm. I guess that raises an important question. Is Stella missing because she doesn't want to be found, or did something happen to her when she ran off? If it's the first one, is finding her doing any good? Maybe she needs space. That's a big one. <laughs> I'm still skeptical. There's got to be a better explanation for what happened last night. Then ghosts are real and they hate me personally. <laughs> this information is destroying me. I wonder if that means there's a heaven and hell. There's an afterlife. We should probably figure out who was right about it, shouldn't we? No. But who cares? <laughs> you're just gonna die. <laughs> Doesn't really matter if you're right or wrong. We have to figure out how to deal with the living right now. <laughs> I'm actually thrilled. Maybe I can be a professional ghost hunter. No. I mean, we should probably do the keen eye one. I guess that raises an important question. Is Stella missing because she doesn't want to be found? Or did something happen to her when she ran off? If it's the first one, is finding her doing her any good? Maybe she needs space. Maybe she needs space, but things have been getting dangerous around here. I'd rather not take that coin flip. That is true. Alright, uh, I guess we should get started. Yeah, we're burning daylight. Where to first? Okay, uh, let's go to Stella's house. Hmm. Not the cops. Let's check in on Oscar and Rosalina now. 
Um. Hmm. I'm supposed to. Uh. I don't know. Let's get Estelle's house. Okay, let's get Estelle's house. Definitely. I probably should have done that before getting you to come all the way down down here. But to be honest, I was scared of wandering off by myself. Just in case I ran into any other horrors behind the veil. It'd be great if this turns out to be nothing and she's just asleep in bed. Probably not, though. Any ditchlings around? Make your way towards Stella's house. The door is pristine as any uh, as any old wooden door. No bloody handprints in sight. Any telltale uh, sign of Wayne absent. If something happened here, it didn't involve him. At least not at the front door. Kanika knocks anxiously on the door. Huh? Oh, it's not locked. It creaks open. You know, the house is quiet. The world outside muffled as you take a cautious step over in the threshold into the muted air of the living room. No excitable pug rushes to greet you at uh, no excitable pug rushes to greet you at the door. And you have a feeling that no Stella is going to emerge from the shadows to sleepily greet you. Is she in there? <laughs> She's dead, Stella's dead, and it's all my fault. Let's not jump to that conclusion. I'm not around from around here, but is it normal for people to leave the doors open? No to ask that. Unlocked? Yes. Hanging open? No way. This isn't normal. We should go in, right? Uh, oh boy. Uh, yeah, we should go in. <laughs> uh, oh, it's kind of nice in here. The living room is almost exactly as you saw it the other day. Kinai, aside from the corner of, a room, of the room dedicated to Gretchen, Stella's house almost feels like a museum. Everything, everything is organized with a sort of tightness you wouldn't expect from someone as rough and rumble as Stella, and only a handful of objects feel like they belong to her. Um, so she's keeping the house exactly as it is ever since her parents died, basically, right? It's like, so it is kind of like a museum. Whatever happened to Stella, it doesn't look like it happened here. Okay, nothing unusual so far. This is a perfectly normal living room. No blood or viscera, not even a tipped over lamp. That's good. Hmm. Um. Investigate Stella's room. Oh, this is a mess. You make your way down the hall to what you assume to be Stella's room. Computer's on. She's not here. Though it's a little untidy, it's, it's a sort of. A usual sort of untidiness that accumulates when someone doesn't have guests in their bedroom. There aren't any signs of violence. You know, I know streaks of blood and pus that might belong to a certain phantom miner. He hasn't been here. You do notice, though, that her jacket is nowhere in sight. It isn't in her closet and it wasn't in the coat rack in the other room. Still, his jacket's gone. The letterman one. It wasn't on the rack in the other room and it's not in here. She didn't have it yesterday. Okay, so odds are she came home last night. Still, that just leaves us with more questions. If she came home last night, why isn't she here now? And why haven't we been able to reach her? Let's check her computer. You got to check Stella's computer. Um, I'm not sure we should be snooping on her computer. It's not an invasion of privacy. Well, she's missing, so privacy be damned. Nika, what if there's a clue and we miss it? What if we don't find Stella and it's all because we didn't snoop on her computer? Um... Like, I know it's an invasion of privacy, but we've got to do whatever we can to find her. Let's go with that. Like, I know it's an invasion of privacy, but we've got to do whatever we can to find her. Sure, snoop away, but I'm not going to take part in this. I'll just be over here, staying in the corner of the room, not looking over your shoulder. <laughs> Uh, let me know if you find anything. Yeah, I'll take all the blame if she gets mad about this. Stella's desktop is horrifically, uh, horrifically cluttered. There are simply too many files and folders to fit on her monitor, and they overlap each other in a chaotic multi-layered display. Holy crap, she's got a lot of ta tabs open. I don't know what I expected to see here, but it definitely wasn't this. How does she ever get anything done? Hey, you said no peeking. <laughs> Turn around. Uh, let's not check her search history. Um, check her open tabs. It would take you all day to count the number of tabs she uh, open tabs in Stella's browser. So numerous are her tabs that you don't see. You can't see a single icon. 
A sea of rounded featureless triangle triangles from Windows Edge to Windows Edge. Holy crap, that is a lot of tabs. Her most recently opened tab is a post on Uncle Carl's Bigfoot Farm, a forum for crypto cryptozoology enthusiasts. The post in question is titled, Something Big is Happening in Scarlet Hollow. In Appalachia. Hey everyone, was out chasing a skunk ape sighting the other day and I found these weird little guys. My mom's friend, uh, my friend's mom says there's something called ditchlings, but I've never heard of them before. Anyone got any leads? Camera isn't shaky enough. This is totally staged. <laughs> Clean footage and some sort of cryptid nobody has heard of except for your friend's mom. The only thing I'm seeing when I Google ditchlings is some city in England. Thought you were legit. Guys, since some high quality footage count as anything other than actual evidence, those things are terrifying. Since every low budget horror movie started with started doing guerrilla marketing, I spell an A R G. <laughs> I'm serious. I've got ton of uh, I've got a ton of extra footage. Look at what they've been doing to the animals in town. They're apparently some sort of bad omen, like Mothman. Okay, I'm listening. I love a mo I love me a Mothman. <laughs> I believe you. Ugh, Lucky, you're falling right into her lap. I don't trust YouTubers, they're entertainers, not scientists. Sick. Sick. What does a sick mean? The thread continues into the next day. Hey, okay, so one, this is an ARG I would never, and two, you're not gonna believe this, but we went into an abandoned mine last night to investigate things, and I'm pretty sure we found some Tommy knockers. Listen to the knocking we managed to catch on tape. It's linked to an audio file titled Tommy Knocker, Tommy Knocker's Real Dot Wave. Just because you put the word real in your file name doesn't mean they're real. Two supernatural events on back to back nights? This is so fake. I can't believe I bought into that River Runner hype. You're so full of it. <laughs> These people are part of a forum for people that are catching cryptids, and they're all so, like, in denial of cryptids. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I feel like if they're part of this website, they should be a bit more, like, uh, into it. Like, you know, like, they might want to come investigate, like, if they're all cryptid hunters or whatever, you know? I don't know. It's kind of weird that they're all in denial, but maybe that's just how the internet works. <laughs> YouTubers are always going to sell, sell out to big indie horror. This is kidnapped by aliens all over again. Also, long doughy white things and now loud popping noises. This is definitely an ARG. Did you sell out to Pillsbury? <laughs> Stop cyberbullying her or I'm gonna call the mods. Locking the thread and giving everyone a seven day ban. No cyberbullying and no self promo. This thread ends. Hmm, okay. Well, should we look in the search history? I mean, she's she's gotta be smart, right? She wipe out anything weird, right? <laughs> it might tell us where she went. Let's, we'll do it. And we'll pretend we didn't see anything. He checks Stella's search history. She hasn't visited any websites since Tuesday night. If she came home after last night's incident, she didn't touch her browser. Her search history is almost entirely work-related. A furious series of queries for various monsters and cryptids that might fit the profile of ditchlings. That's that. Okay. Um, okay, I think I've seen enough. Thank God. Hmm. I love seeing someone's room before they've had a chance to clean it up for company. Uh, let's not do that. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there are any, I don't think there are any clues here. I don't think so either. This is what her room's been like for pretty much the entire time I've known her. The only thing that's changed is the computer getting a lot fancier. <laughs> oh, she still does this corkboard with strings thing. Uh, she loves putting those strings on there. I don't think they actually mean anything, but they're more for decoration anyway. Let's investigate the kitchen. Maybe she came back and ate something. Still's kitchen is slightly messy. A couple of cabinets are hanging open, and the loaf of bread sits on the counter by a used butter knife. The crust of the bread has gone somewhat stale, about as much as you'd expect after being left out overnight. Whoever left it there left many hours ago. Hmm, it's a little messy, but it doesn't look like anything violent happened here. Maybe she had a panic attack after being possessed and stopped by at home to make uh, to make a snack before running off to cry somewhere. 
That might not sound rational, but that's absolutely in character for her. You'd rather go run off and cry in a forest when, when there's monsters out instead of crying in your own house? That's weird. Honestly, it's a relief to, th relief to think that might be all that happened. A panic attack is much more manageable than rotting ghouls or parasitic doughboys. <laughs> But that still doesn't tell us where she was going. Okay, uh, I don't think we're gonna find much else here. Let's move on. Hmm. So she probably came home last night, but she left the door open and didn't tell anyone where she was going. I thought I was overreacting this morning. I thought she would have just been sleeping in or something, but I can't believe she's actually missing. Where to next? Hmm. I'm guessing she went to the farm or something like that, you know, searching for more things or the forest or whatever where the guy died. Um. Hmm. Is that the church over there? Because it says we could check out the church. Is she religious? No, she said she didn't like the priest. Why would she be at the church? Hmm. Um. Uh. Let's check in on Oscar and Rosalina. They, would that help us find her, though? I don't know. Let's go there. Let's check out uh, Oscar and Rosalina. They're at the Maxwell place, right? Yes, that place your oh-so-generous cousin decided was suitable for habitation. Sorry, I know she's your family and everything, but with what Oscar and Rosalina have been through this week, I couldn't just... I couldn't believe she'd just even suggest something like that. Yeah, that was odd. <laughs> You didn't get far before the sound of growling, desperate hisses grab your attention. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not Pixel! Get away from me! I'm supposed to be an indoor tech- indoor cat. I'm not supposed to see things like you. You don't even talk, you freak. He turned to see a ditchling approach a cornered Pixel in the alley. He must have slipped out of the library when, with everyone else last night. Oh, God. <laughs> The ditchling, distracted from its hunt by your arrival, cranes its neck to face you, its eyes settling on you with an alien indifference. Keen eye, in, dis in the distance you hear a furious patter of many feet approaching. You won't be alone for long. Oh god. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> hey, quit it! Watch in silent horror. Um... Uh... I don't want the cat to die. Hey, quit it! <laughs> we better run. The wor words feel like feel meek as they leave your mouth, and the ditchling, unaffected, turns back to its cornered prey. Run, Pixel! I'm grabbing Pixel! Dogs! <laughs> Before you can react, a small pack of dogs round the corner. Oh my god. <laughs> Before you can react, uh, they pounce on the creature, pulling it from the wall, and then taking turns biting and tearing it at it until it's ripped into shreds. Good boys. <laughs> Their task is complete. They saunter towards you. Can we bring you with us all the time? What the? <laughs> what are Daisy and Scraps doing out here? Are they leading some sort of ditchling hunting dog gang? Isn't Scraps the one that was also running for president? I lived! <laughs> A dog saving the cat! That's unusual. Pixel, you got out of the library. Oh, you poor cat, come here. Pixel cautiously walks towards your group before clambering into your arms. He has a comfortable heft to him. I guess he likes you more than me. <laughs> we found them last. Uh, we found them last night, terrified and shaking in a bush outside the library. Psh, I wasn't that scared. I've been. I've even been helping out. Mhm. Mm little Pixel here has been volunteering as a scout. Don't worry. We were always right around the corner. Those creatures only like to strike out when they have number. When they have numbers, but they're hardly very bright. We made sure the little guy was taken care of till the humans were awake. Do you all know where he's supposed to be? Yes, I do. But first, good doggies. <laughs> good doggies. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> you call me a, do a good dog? Daisy, good dog? Daisy's tail wags excitedly before she regains her composure. Ah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just love to hear it. <laughs> so you're the scraps I've heard so much about. The one and only. This year is Daisy. We've got a few others... Concerned locals with us as well, just making sure the cats and dogs of Holler are well cared for, considering recent events. There are more than the, of those things in in the woods every day, popping out of the innocent bodies of what used to be uh, dogs like us. Oh. 
He's done us a fine service, but you'd best make sure to keep Pixel inside from here on out. I've got a feeling things are only gonna will get worse from here. I'd like to see you try. I was an indoor cat, but now that I've got a taste of the outdoors, I'll never be satisfied with my indoor life. But maybe I can wait till all the monsters are gone. <laughs> we'll make sure he gets back to his family. We appreciate it, human. The word's been getting around town that you were the one, uh, that there was one among you who could properly understand us. It'll be good to have you on our side during these strange times. I'm so glad I picked talk to animals and I can talk to this pack of dogs. This makes it all worth it. <laughs> um, odd things are going around. Odd things are going around here. Uh are going on around here. It's important for us all, to, all of us living things to watch out for each other. I'm just scoot myself over. Sorry. Didn't realize it was blocking the way. Um, so are you all kind of a dog militia or something? Yeah, I suppose you can say that. I'm sure you've met the town's illustrious leader by now. When the powers that ban- when the powers that abandon you- it, what? When the powers that be abandon you, it's up to the rest of us to band together and protect those who need protecting. Good dog. <laughs> mm, have any of you seen or smelled Gretchen? Is she missing? Oh dear, scraps. You don't think. Gretchen's person would never let that happen to her. Whoever she is, wherever she is, I'm sure she's safe from those things. A dog like her doesn't get to that age without a watchful human at her side. Hmm, can you help us find her? You've got better noses for this sort of thing. We'll do our best. We didn't intend to make any more trips out into the woods, but if it's for Gretchen, we'll take that risk. Oh, I hope you all don't die. She's a well-liked dog in these parts, being around longer than any of us. It'd be a blow to the community for her to fall victim to those monstrosities. And Gretchen really admires you, Scraps. Oh, she flatters me so. I'm nothing special, just another dog. All the more reasons to go after her before it's too late. Don't be so modest, Scraps. You're the kind of dog other dogs listen to. That's more than can be said for that Jimmy. Think he's so high and mighty just because he can sit back and stay the best. As if obedience is the best quality in a leader. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, I do think Scraps should be the next mayor. I don't know. Jimmy's, Jimmy's just kind of not contributing. Is there anything we humans can do about the ditchlings? They ain't that hard to kill when there's a whole lot of us. They die easy enough, so as long as you don't get caught unawares. Hmm. That's why we're gathering all the local dogs. A big pack is a safe pack. Jimmy may not be doing anything to help, but that doesn't mean we can't take matters into our own hands. Now, Daisy. No need to start in about the mayor. He has his own priorities. So long as it doesn't get in our way, we don't need to go start in trouble. Hmm. I don't care about Jimmy. We're not going to tell him that he needs respect. Yeah, screw Jimmy. What a joke. One of you should have been mayor. Mm. I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's say screw Jimmy. Yeah, screw Jimmy. What a joke. One of you should have been the mayor. Well, aren't you sweet? Some dogs just ain't fit to lead. It's not his fault the humans of his town flung him so far out of his depths. <laughs> Aren't your families worried about you off on your own like this? We're country dogs, so as long as we come home for dinner, most of us aren't missed too much. Speak for yourself. I know my family's been worried sick, but I can't just let that get in the way of what's important. Besides, if I went home, they might tie me up, and then I'd be a sitting duck. I mean, dog. And that'd be bad. Alright, uh, we'd best get on our way. Same for us. For the first time that we know of, those things are out during the day, which means the pets of Scarlet Hollow need us m now more than ever. Make sure the humans keep extra w careful watch on their fairy companions. That's so gross. The band of dogs scampers off. You just had a full-on conversation with those dogs. It is so weird when you do that. <laughs> and you even convinced them to help us find Stella. Your powers have finally come in handy. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kanika sighs, muttering to herself. Knowing dogs are capable of carrying on actual conversations is going to make being a veterinarian really weird. <laughs> oh, we could like team up and you know how much money we'd make if I teamed up with her and became vets? We'd be like sitting in piles and piles of money. We could we could diagnose everything. 
Pixel in tone, you and your companions continue the old Maxwell place. Oh, it's good that we've, we're going there. I don't know, I guess that's probably the route would have led us here anyways. Um, the old Maxwell place. It was clearly once a mid-century modern home, and undoubtedly quite stylish at the time, but it's been abandoned for unknown decades, and moss and vines choke its exterior, barely concealing cracked walls and dust-clouded glass. I mean, it looks cool, though. We could, we could totally remodel it, right? Hey, where the heck are you taking me? This ain't my house. It is now. <laughs> Before you approach, the door opens. Oscar's head pokes out from the entryway. Hello? Oh, sorry if I started you all. The walls here are worn down enough that I could hear you coming from a block away. Oh, that's unfortunate. I still can't believe Tabitha put them in here, not in the nice house. She's just been, like, hiding out in the cry every now and then. Like, come on. I get that you need your safe space, but, like, you just literally turned their house into a ghost zone. The least you can do is give them a good house. <laughs> Ugh. Good morning, Oscar. Thank goodness you found Pixel. Rosalina has been beside herself. Oscar's voice is tired. He had a long night and it shows. His graying face seemingly have aged an hour since he last saw him. Please, come in. I didn't see any ditchlings. Hmm. Pixel! Rosalina rushes forward, taking Pixel gently from your arms. Hey, Rosalina. Hey, Alexis. Look who we found uh, on our way up here. I'm so worried. I thought the ghost might have done something to him. Ghost couldn't get Pixel. I'm way too slippery. Totally could have beat up that ghost if I wanted to. <laughs> Alexis is helping us put a room together. We don't plan on staying here long, but the girls seem to have fun with it. Thank goodness. Even after all they've been through. Yeah, this is kind of cool. There's like this weird intercom thing and the jacuzzi. Maybe you guys could fix up the place. It doesn't seem that run down. It is a lot cooler than I thought it would be, and I've already met a ghost, so if it turns out to be haunted, then that's no big deal. Mmm... Y'all aren't traumatized after last night? Maybe they are, they just want to talk about it. Place out- did you say this place out of jacuzzi? Can I try it? <laughs> um... No, we're not gonna get your stuff from the mansion. I don't care about your stuff. You can buy new stuff, you can't buy a new body. <laughs> um... hmm... Um, let's see. We can do a lot of these. Eh, well, let's just ask him if they're traumatized. Y'all aren't traumatized after last night? I don't know. The past few days have been really weird. But I figure if I've survived all that, it can only get better from now on, right? <laughs> and we went through it together. I think that helps. Help me, at least. You two are way stronger than me. My nerves are so frayed. I feel like I'm one more traumatic event from having a hard, uh, one more traumatic event away from having a heart attack. Same. <laughs> Did you say this place has a jacuzzi? Can I try it? I only just turned on the water. I don't think you want to bathe in water that's been stuck in the pipes for the past 30 years. We're on the bottled water until I get that stuff that comes out of those taps thoroughly tested. Hmm. Sorry again about the library. There's no need to apologize. It's building your person. You matter more than the pile of stones. Thank you. <laughs> I do kind of wish we could go back for our stuff. Thanks for letting me borrow some of your clothes, Alexis. You can borrow as much as you need. I have plenty of shirts, and you can do laundry at our house, too. Of course, there are some fairly family heirlooms I'd rather not lose. Portraits of my parents. My father's mining jacket. I don't like the thought of their last living memories being forgotten in there. And the fact that it stole the library from me, too. That one really stings. But what are you gonna do? Have you seen Stella? We haven't been able to find her since everyone left the library last night. She hasn't gotten in touch in touch with any of you. Hmm. Sorry to freak out. I really care about her and she's just gone. So I'm guessing that's a no. Yeah. Uh, so I'm guessing that's a no? You'd be right. I haven't seen her since she ran off last night. I should have known that ghost was too much. Stella's practically banging down your door trying to get evidence of ghosts. I don't think that you you, you were going to be able to stop her. There's no way you could have known that uh, how she would react when she found it. I'm really starting to worry. It sounds like no one in town has seen her. Well, I'm sure she'll be okay, but you should probably get back to looking for her soon. Hmm, what's going to happen to your career now that the library's closed? What's going to happen to your career now that the library's closed? 
That's a good question. I was up all night wondering the same thing. If things stay the way they are right now, it's essentially the library like the library burned down. The book books are inaccessible and the building is unsalvageable. In that scenario, the county would have to put the put up the money to build a new archive, or we'd have to move some some place where I can work in an existing library, and Scarlet Hollow would lose its valuable public service. Oscar. M move? You, so you and Rosalina would leave? But we're not doing that, right, Dad? We're staying here. I'm going to do everything I can to keep us here. Hmm. Uh... It's so cool my cousin let you stay in this rat place for free. I don't know. There's a lot of places she could have let you be. We'll just remain silent. <laughs> so what's the long-term plan? This place obviously isn't going to cut it. The long-term plan is I'm going to get the library back one way or another. How? I don't care what it takes. I'm not letting that creature get the last laugh. I've been thinking, as far as I'm aware, there's no nothing that... There was nothing paranormal going on in Scarlet Hollow before very recently. You mean when I got here? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now here we are, suddenly surrounded by weird little goblin creatures in the woods, while entire buildings are being taken over by supernatural creatures. You think there was an inciting event, right? I do. That's my thought, too. It was never like this in, in the holler before. Something must have happened that kicked it off all that magic stuff. Is it the death of my aunt, you know? Because, I don't know. Did we see any ditchlings on the way into town when we were taking the bus? No, I think we only saw them that first time when we saw Duke. So, I'm guessing her death must have triggered something. If she's even dead, you know? I'm pretty sure she's in that room. That's got all the locks on it. <laughs> Whatever ca the cause of this is, there must be some way to put this genie back in the bottle. I mean, I'm thinking Tabitha's still hiding quite a bit from us, or something, you know? I don't know. Eh, she, maybe she is guilty of something. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do my best to find out if there have been any similar events, whether there's anything special about Scarlet Hollow that might explain what's going on. The town's archives are, unfortunately, in the library. I told you putting everything online was important. No one uses paper anymore, Dad. You were right. It'll be my first project if I get the library back. I've learned my lesson. Until then, I'll have to just make do with what I can find online. We'll fill you in on what we, what little we know, so you can at least have some place to start. Hmm. We've been finding these weird st uh, stone seals. There's one in the mines and another in your basement. There might be more. These are those carvings you mentioned last night, right? To think there's something like that under my house all this time. And to think that someone must have put it there. But who? Hmm. This gives me quite a few threads to follow. Thank you, Casper. Casper, didn't you say you felt something similar to the uh, to the mine outside the clinic yesterday? I hope that doesn't mean something weird is about to happen there, too. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if this could be some work. The work of some sort of cult. Make sure Pixel stays inside or you might get grabbed by ditchlings. I think there's something in the clinic. Let's say that. I think there's something in the clinic. There was this door yesterday and I could feel something pulling me towards it. Right, I almost forgot uh, forgotten after everything that happened yesterday. You said there was something there that reminded you of the mines, right? I see. I'll dig up what I can about the clinic. There's a lot of history there. I wouldn't be surprised if something was haunting that place as well. Oh god, you don't think that's why Reese is sick, do you? He's been sick for years, hasn't he? If there's something supernatural causing his illness, it puts a bit of a wrench on in our recent theory. Recency theory. It does, but maybe there's more to it than that. Maybe things being clustered so tightly together is just a coincidence. Maybe Scarlet Hall has been weird for a long time and we're all just starting to notice. It took me back to the counters. Back, it took me back-to-back -back encounters with the paranormal on consecutive nights to even consider that we might be dealing with something supernatural. Hmm. Reese mentioned the movie, right? It's a perfect cover for investigation. There we go. Let's let's say that. Reese mentioned the movie, right? And that's a perfect cover for investigation. Who knows if they, that would fly with Dr. Kelly, though. 
After her last night, I'm pretty sure she's not gonna let us anywhere near her house. Oh yeah, did we say some things to her? I feel like we insulted her a little bit. Uh, if we're going to investigate the clinic, I think we're gonna have to break in. No, absolutely not. It's what Stella would do, and she's been three for three this week when it comes to finding spooky stuff. She's also been three for three when it comes to finding your way into mortal peril. <laughs> This is why we have to find her as soon as possible. You shouldn't follow me to suggest we do something dangerous. I'm terrible at selling it. <laughs> it's not that I don't think we should figure out what's going on in there. We just need to be more cautious about what we do next. We don't want anyone getting attacked or possessed by any more ghosts, even if it ha is to help a friend. I don't know if we have time to play it safe. Just give me a day or two to do some research before you do anything rash, okay? Hmm... Yeah, let's tell them to keep Pixel inside. Make sure Pixel stays inside or you might get grabbed by Ditchlings. The Ditchlings are those things from the woods, right? With those faces. They snatch animals and do some kind of parasitic egg-laying thing, so unless you want one of those things to pop out of Pixel, you better keep him where he's safe. Not Pixel. He's the best cat I've ever met. He's like a little dude. How do we, how do we know he didn't get infected already? He was out all night. Is he gonna be okay? Uh, I think some dogs kept them safe. Like, a gang of dogs. I know it sounds ridiculous, but we saw it with our own eyes. A gang of dogs? I suppose stranger things have happened. This very week, in fact, but we'll make sure he stays safe. Right, Rosalina? I'm not letting him out of my sight ever again. Hmm. I wonder if this could be the work of some sort of cult. You mentioned something like this at the library the other day. If there was a cult in Scarlet Hollow, I feel like I'd know about it. Hmm. I don't know, I'm just throwing things out there. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, let's just say it. I'm just throwing things out there. <laughs> I mean, why not? There's ghosts, right? <laughs> let's not uh, Let's not get all satanic panic just yet. I know it's not looking unlikely at this point, but having lived in this town all my life, I feel like I would know if there's some cult that ran the place. Hmm. A cult doesn't necessarily have to run the town to have an impact here. It doesn't even need to be active. From what I gather, those carvings you've been talking about are old, so whoever left them there is probably long gone. I'll see what I can. F I'll see what I can find. You never know. Hmm. Whatever we're doing next, I feel like we're missing a vital team member. We have to find Stella and fast. Yeah, let's say that. I agree. We need to take. We need a brazen energy if we're going to do anything. Any serious sleuthing. Let us know what you find. I will. We're going to the library back. Uh, we're going to get the library back and we're going to figure out how to fix whatever is wrong with this town. Hmm. So that's Oscar. Any other ideas? Hmm. Uh, we should probably go to the diner. Maybe? Because we haven't talked to those people in a while. They might know something. Let's check out the diner. Good idea. Folks tend to congregate there. Maybe we'll run into someone who's seen Stella. That's true. The diner is busier than you've ever seen it. It's small booths packed with miners. Oh yeah, they're all in strike. Oh yeah, we could have gone to the mines then because nobody's there to look. But I don't know if I want to go to the mines. That was scary. <laughs> hey, hope you haven't. You weren't planning on spending any quality time in the diner today. Looks like we'll have be hosting a meeting for the foreseeable future. <laughs> What's going on? There's a strike up at the mines. They've made the diner their base of operations. Huh. Good for them. It's about time something like this happened. This is great for business. These fellows can have as much free coffee as they can drink if they keep piling in like this. The miners didn't even notice you entered the diner. And instead of speaking in hushed voices, argue... Uh, argue with each other loudly enough for you to o easily overhear. I guess the shift schedules are pretty brutal, and I'd like more vacation days. I'd love to be able to see my families around the holidays, and better health benefits would be amazing. But what if she decides to fire us all? You're only a year or so into work, and trust me, the longer it goes on, the more it sucks the life out of you. At first, you're just unhappy, but you figure you can weather till you find something better, a paycheck's a paycheck. Next thing you know, you've lost years of your life to a company that doesn't give a solitary shit about you. 
that uses up every free second it can suck out it, uh, it can suck out of its workers and pays us just enough to survive, but not so much that we can ever save enough to get the hell out. But we could get, but we could get fired for this. I really need the paycheck. I can't get fired. With company housing, that makes a big difference for me. I mean, if she fires you all, then who the hell is she going to have to work in their minds, you know? Like, this is the entire town's population right here. <laughs> She's kind of backed up against the wall. Right, the company's housing. How generous of Tabitha to put you up in the company-owned shack that ain't had maintenance done in decades. Taking the big chunk right out of your paycheck that, make, that sure as shit is going towards property tax and upkeep alone. Ain't going to, towards property tax and upkeep alone. Company housing, that means almost nobody in this whole town, damn town owns the place that they live. We have numbers on our side, Harrison. After what happened up there the other night, damn near everyone is joining the picket line. She can't afford to lose us all. We have the power here, so long as we're united. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Hey, yeah, let's ask him. Hey, have any of you seen Stella? She's missing. Miners turn towards you, towards the doorway, all eyes glaring at you in unison. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just curious. The YouTuber? No, we ain't seen her. As you can see, we've got a lot going on today. We'd appreciate it if you didn't butt in. <laughs> Harrison's voice drops to a barely audible mumble. <laughs> Hope she's okay. She hasn't been around, but I'll let you know if I hear anything. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Um. I don't know. Should I talk to them about the strike? I, I don't think I don't think it'll do any good. Will it? Hmm. I don't. I don't think I should get involved. Uh, hey Avery, do you have a moment to catch up? You angling at something? Come on now, Zax. This is a free establishment. Hmm. Let's step outside. I could use some fresh air. If he pauses for a second. I'm seeing those little blob guys everywhere. Should I be concerned? Ugh, they might have got get some eggs laid in your skin. That's disgusting. You should be more worried about why they're here than anything else. There's too many of them. Does anyone in town have a flamethrower? <laughs> I think they're kind of neat. Um, I th We should be more worried about why they're here than anything else. I, I don't know if that's true or not, because they're pretty terrifying, but sure. Do we know what that is yet? Not yet, though I'm still hoping they're just weird animals and not some kind of harboring harbingers of doom. Because if my mom is right and that's what they are, whatever is coming has to be worse than what we've already been through. I keep my eyes peeled and ears open. In the meantime, should I be careful not to wind up in any dark alleys with those weird little guys? Are they going to try to eat me or something? Yes. No, worse. They might try to use you as some kind of incubator. So far, they've only been laying eggs in local wildlife. But now that there's so many of them, I'm not sure the humans of Scarlet Hollow are going to be safe for much longer. Oh, is that all they do? That doesn't seem so bad. You want to be an incubator? <laughs> are you serious? Being used as a walking nursery sounds so much worse than just being eaten. Look, if they need a warm place to puppet, pupate, and I have some skin to spare, who am I to deny them? You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't want to be an incubator? That's gross. Ugh, that's so gross. The thought of feeling something like wriggling under your skin, stealing your nutrients until it eventually erupts out of you? Nika shudders. Sounds like the miracle of life to me. What? Are you some kind of freaky going on here? Like, what? what is wrong with you? <laughs> You're yanking us around, right? Maybe. Anyways, I shouldn't get too off topic. You want to chat? Hmm. What do you make of all the stuff that's going down with the miners? The strike? I'm all for it. Zach's been rallying folks up all morning, though it doesn't take much. Seems like most of the workers have been unhappy for a long time. The bun collapse the other day really sealed the deal. I don't know how Tap expected anyone to get back to work with something like that going on. <laughs> What's a strike? Explain it to me like I'm five. <laughs> uh, 
I hope I can convince her to actually hear folks out. It shouldn't be that hard to make everyone happy, right? Hmm. Uh, what if she can't actually meet their demands? The mine's already not doing well. If the strike ruins it, what happens to the town? <sighs> um. Let's just say this. I hope I can convince her to actually hear folks out. It shouldn't be that hard to make everyone happy, right? You have way too much faith in that woman if you think she's just gonna give in. You never know. Maybe Casper coming to town is a chance for her to turn over a new leaf. I mean, I feel like she's already kind of changing. Huh. I'll believe it when I see it. Do you have any idea where Stella might have went? Nope, not at all. I'll let you know if I hear something. This night was an ordeal for all of us. I think she was especially shaken up. She just ran off without saying anything. We we're pretty worried. Hmm. Have you seen any noticed anything weird going on around town? Aside from the ditchlings, that is. Every pause is thinking for a moment. I don't think it's supernatural. I, I haven't seen Julius since Tuesday, which is pretty unusual. He never skips the diner two days in a row unless he's out of town or something. Maybe he is. I don't know him well enough that he shares his weekend plans with me or anything. I don't like the thought of more people disappearing right now. He might just be out of town, but he's kind of an old dude. Maybe it couldn't hurt to have somebody check on his house, see if he's there or not. I'll try to do that before my shift tomorrow. Don't die. <laughs> you should probably get back to it. Totally. I'm sure you're both antsy to get back on, get back to looking for Stella. I won't keep you. Avery heads back inside, and you can Nika return to Main Street to plan your next move. Hmm. Still no sign of Stella. Alright. I'm actually going to stop here for now. <laughs> Sorry. So that's all for this time. Sorry, I can feel my voice starting to leave me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, Tap the strange. Like, <sighs> if anyone is going to be sacrificed for the greater good of the town, it should probably be her, just because... It seems like she's still, like, carrying out whatever wrongdoings our family has done, you know, with the mine and stuff. Like, I feel like she knows things, and I feel like she's still keeping secrets about, um, the aunt's death, you know? Like, I feel like, I feel like she's just got a lot of things going on. And I don't, I don't know if she's really all that innocent. Like, I don't know. And it's like, why, why is she trying so hard to keep this mine open? She doesn't even like running the mine. I and mean, I know this town, like, relies on the Scarlets or whatever to keep it going, but, like, I feel like she should have, like, over time, tried to find different ways to make it so the entire town wasn't so reliant on her if she, like, actually didn't want to be in this position. I don't know. Like, she could have, like, let her workers keep the houses instead of, like, buying every single house in town and keeping it as like company housing i don't know she's just got she's got weird things going on so uh, we'll have to find out more as we go on but that's all for this one so let me know what you think of the game down in the comments below and i will see you in the next one this is casper kuma over and out